you didn't know what the expectation of this football club was before you got here. I can guarantee you after day one, I had a very clear idea the standards uh, and what was expected at the football club. And What's going on everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. We're here at home for a game against St Mirren today where they're sitting pretty in the table but their form's been a little bit shaky as of late but their form has not been too great either in our past two games having two draws, need to get back into winning ways today get a few good factor around about again and yeah, something to heat the fans up a bit today. Got five changes in the team lineup as well, two centre half changes, Golton, no messing about, straight back in with Balogun, McCausland on from the start today, Cantwell, we are waiting to see how his attitude was after that first half sub, he's starting today so we'll see how he goes from there and Danilo benched for Dessers as well today so, hmm, interesting. And uh, Edmondson House an hour, hour before kick off today. Very big round of applause to dear friend Craig Moore everybody. Thank you very much, Ali. How are we all? Uh, Stuart McCall's uh, absolute, absolute winners. Where if you didn't know what the expectation of this football club was before you got here, I can guarantee you after day one, I had a very clear idea the standards uh, and what was expected at the football club. And I was just very fortunate that I played at a time where uh, we were on top of things. Uh, and I had a great deal of success during, during those years. Maybe someone or something? That's a tough question, Ali, because there's many, there's many different factors. Uh, Walter Smith was... We, we, we still miss him so much today. Uh, he was a huge influence on myself and many, many other players that have uh, represented the football club, like a father figure. Uh, but I think what, what come with that was know-how. Where it was know-how, uh, understanding the, the domestic game, understanding the type of character, the type of player that you had to have to, to be successful. Uh, and that was always there. Uh, we always had great leaders. We always had dressing rooms that were, were very tough. You know, they were demanding. So every training session uh, was competitive because the jersey was at stake every single week every single match and if you were lucky enough to get that opportunity to, to get that jersey even as a young player coming through you know you look at McCausland now um, what a great opportunity for him to, to hold on to that jersey um, and what he showed uh, as a substitute on Thursday night he keeps delivering that sort of stuff then he's gonna he's gonna get himself and be part of that starting 11 and have people chasing him and I think that that's what's important, that's what can deliver success. It's, it's having a team that's highly competitive every single day. So the agency takes you into to that territory. Um, it's a tough market, highly competitive, there's a lot of agency out there. Um, but look, it, it has me doing what I really love and that's, that's watching a lot of football matches, identifying talent um, and being given the opportunity, especially with the younger players, to educate uh, not only themselves but mums and dads because it's something that I've kind of been through. Uh, in the stadium now, 20 minutes before kickoff on the lead up to Christmas on a day as cold and miserable as this. We've seen a lot of spares on the way to the game today. Hopefully there's still at least about 45 in here. as well with these team changes today, the five changes at the Fuentes and Lamos who are not getting the best of comments about their performances of late on the bench and at least can't we into that number 10 position that everybody's been begging to see him play in today. Clement's confirmed that Lawrence will be playing a bit deeper next to our only defensive midfielder on Lundstrom today.
from climate or region here at the amount of time that some men are taking on the ball and these set pieces and stuff. <laughs> You'll be getting booked soon, but I love the fashion. And right before half time, that deadlock has been broken. Nice quick counter attack, good layoff by Nettles to Camwell, who basically walked on his seamers and foot who's finished it well. And they fell about. What has just been a largely frustrating half has ended well. And that is that for another game at Ibrox. Three points on the board back to winning ways. Hopefully we continue that going on to Edinburgh on Wednesday. But certainly not the prettiest performance, but enjoyed seeing Campbell back in that free roaming number 10 position. Getting two assists on the board today. You can see the team getting behind him as well with that second assist because they know how important it is to get him on form and playing in this team. But the performance itself overall wasn't too pretty. Other than a Jack Button outstanding save in the first half, St Mirren could have very easily went 1 0 up and that would have been difficult for us to play against because for large periods of that game you're wondering where we're going to get the second goal from. But yeah, I realised just one of those job done performances. On to the next one. Hope you've enjoyed.